Hi, my name is Lauren and you're on my channel Lauren's Lines and today I'm painting a landscape scene from a recent trip that we had up to the Highlands of Scotland. Um, it was a really beautiful day, nice and sunny and warm, which is really special here. Um, and my partner's parents were over visiting from Sydney and they took us on this really amazing trip up through the Highlands, um, driving around and stopping in all sorts of little places to have a look and see. Um, this scene at the moment that I'm painting is from a little town called Killen, um, which is just near sort of Loch Tay up in the Highlands. Um, it was beautiful, it was so lush and green, and the weather was just gorgeous. Um, so what I'm painting at the moment is there's this bridge that goes over these waterfalls in Killen. I think they're probably called the Killen Waterfalls, but I'll check that. Um, and then these really sort of like flat lying waterfalls, not that sort of really steep rushing kind of waterfall, just really peaceful flat lining waterfalls um, and there's all these beautiful green trees around and then there's a bridge that you could walk over which is what I'm painting at the moment. Yeah, I sort of went over the waterfall and I thought it was really beautiful, sort of just that arch. Um, yeah, and I thought it would fit quite nicely on the square page of my sketchbook. So here I am painting it. I quite liked sort of getting in the um, the leaves of the trees and sort of simplifying those shapes down into the bigger sort of forms of the block of you know slightly darker green and lighter greens and instead of drawing a little branches just sort of you know suggesting them I'm just using a square brush which I really like I think it's quite a good one for getting that sort of stuff in um the bridge I found a little bit trickier I really wanted to show that it was made out of these really old stones and really square like almost hand cut kind of stones so I really I put a lot of effort into getting all these different colors in there and all this sort of stuff but eventually you'll see at the end that I decided it looks all too busy and um, paint over it and block in a whole bunch of them and sort of simplify it which I'm much happier with um, yeah and the one thing that I wasn't too sure about sort of with this painting is um, I mean greens I always really struggle with sort of getting them right and often they look quite muddied um, it definitely didn't happen too much this time, but I also found that my darks dried way too light and my lights dried, dried too dark. Um, and so it kind of flattened out the whole thing, which I know, gosh, is quite a flat sort of looking medium, um, which I quite like, but I don't know, I wasn't too happy with it, especially sort of in this bit that you can see under the bridge there. Um, especially the highlights, I wanted them to be really bright and light and they sort of look like that on camera to start with but you can sort of see them starting to dry and they just get so dark I was so disappointed um but I've got a new I bought it uh, after discovering that they did this I bought a new yellow tube of paint to see if that one is a bit more opaque hopefully it'll dry a little bit lighter and not sort of uh, go too translucent and show through what's underneath um which is all what gouache is supposed to do but <laughs> trying to ask it to do something different is a bit mean, but uh, yeah. So there are points in this one I'm really happy with sort of that under the bridge scene. And I felt really, um, I felt so good doing this painting. I pretty much did it all almost all in one sitting. Um, I mean, I, I do everything all in one sitting, but often I get up and make, you know, three cups of tea and wander around a bit and kind of procrastinate um, and not want to get it finished. So the fact that I sort of sat down and just did it is quite good. Um, and I think I was quite patient letting the, each layers dry. And so I guess I guess I did get up when my layers needed to dry, but it was quite good of not extending that waiting time sort of thing into longer than it needed to be. Um, so yeah, I felt like I had a good flow sort of while I was doing this painting. Um, I think that sort of comes from being excited about what you're doing. Like I, I, I remember when we saw this view, um, it was a great day. I mean, I said that already. Um, I saw this view in such an inspiring place, because um, they were like climbing over all these rocks and getting in and looking in the, looking at the waterfalls, and then they had these little pools of um, sort of like water that would probably come when the tide comes in and comes out, or if it rains more, so there were these pools of rocks, and there were tadpoles in there, and they were getting really big and they were swimming around, there's hun hundreds of tadpoles, um, which I've never really seen tadpoles before, I've been, I mean, I used to live in far north Queensland and we saw um, cane toad <laughs> tadpoles and you can tell by the shape of their head that they're not frogs. Um, 
So, I mean, cane toads aren't really the very loveliest of things, and they're a bit of a pest, and so they're not as exciting to see. I mean, the tadpoles are still kind of cute, but it's nice to be able to see real frog, frog tadpoles, or at least tadpoles that are not ruining the environment that they're in. Um, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I really enjoyed, I think one of the things that really caught my attention with this scene is the, the shadow that the bridge casts um, on the rocks underneath, and I really liked that. And you sort of see it before I put the creamy colour of the rocks in, like just how strong that contrast was. That's sort of how it looked in real life. It was almost like a black and white contrast. Um, and then I'm kicking myself that I did the rocks too, too dark. I think the colour that I mixed was too dark, and you can see me trying to lighten it up. Um, and then it dried even darker, which just, oh, is infuriating. I was kicking myself. Um, and you can see I missed a couple of bits of footage, but it's probably good because it's a bit boring anyway. Um, but I did miss the bit where I cover up a lot of the blocks on the bridge, um, just sort of blocking them in. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm still quite happy with this. It does, It reminds me of where we were and what it all looked like, and they cemented it in my brain, which I guess is all I can really ask for. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any troubles with your gouache and, you know, getting it to dry lighter if you use different brands or have any tricks for it not <laughs> drying too dark. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye!